How's it going guys, Matacaster here, and today we are once again back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, and today I figure we'll go for, maybe, maybe we'll do a barn find. We haven't done one of those in a little while. Last one was that, uh, was that DeLorean, which was really cool. Turned out really good. So let's, yeah, let's go check out a barn and see what we can find in the barn today. And we have arrived in our barn today, and we find, oh, this is like the knockoff Chrysler 300, yeah, the... Seco LX 550. Nothing too exciting there. Not a car that gets me super stoked <laughs> to uh, build on. Let's see what else we have back here. And oh, 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 is that the Rowdy Burns Lumina from... This is the Rowdy Burns Lumina from Days of Thunder. Oh man, this really gets me excited. Ah, I Absolutely. As a kid, I grew up on Days of Thunder. Loved that movie. Oh man. I love the... I love the how barn fresh it looks with all the uh, with all the dust and everything on it. Man, this is I think this is obvious. Oh yeah, it's really complete for what it is too. And a lot of this stuff, it's really not in bad shape at all. And they want oh come on, they want thirteen thousand six hundred sixty-two. We're buying it. That is the car. Let's send that to the garage. Scores. All right, let's get going on our Lumina. All right, I believe our Winston Cup era Lumina has arrived, and there it is. Looks looks even better out here in the sun. Oh, it's so good. So good. Needing a windshield. No big deal. Not at all. Okay, let's take this thing over and get it washed. See what it looks like after a good wash. And there it goes. Getting all that grime off of there. This thing is meant. Not bad at all. Wow. Yep, Rowdy Burns right there. That is awesome. Check out the trunk here. Yep, even got the fuel cell modeled in so so good this is a this is just another amazing mod by pain uh, check out the link in the description if you want to help pain out does some of the best mods for car mechanic simulator so climbing under here i'm noticing we're missing an oil pan and some uh, crankshaft bearing caps things like that so i figure well let's not worry about trying to fire it up we're going to rebuild the thing anyways so let's just do that Get the uh, engine out of here and start, uh, actually that needs to go back up so we can disconnect the transmission, driveline, and all that. Get the engine out and start tearing things down. This is actually modeled in really nice, this uh, exhaust. Very cool. But let's get that out of the way and get the drive shaft out. On to the starter. Been a while since done a, one of these more not so modular V8 type builds. Nice to go back to the old push rod style V8, old school stuff. I really enjoy. It's been a, been a while for sure. Move the clutch release bearing, pressure plate. Let's go ahead and get this stuff taken care of now. While we're down here, get that clutch plate out of here. And we can take care of the flywheel. We'll get this engine cover out of the way, and then I think we'll be ready to go grab the cherry picker engine crane. Move you over to car lift A. Get this thing out of here. We took the motor has now been removed, took it out, and we can go put it on our engine stand. And there it is. That looks legit, too. It really does look like a cup motor from the era. Move this back to where you came from. We'll get the body taken care of. See what, uh, if there's any kind of like structural stuff, get that taken care of. Yes, let's use the welder. Get that all nice and new. Let's start dismantling this engine here. We'll pull off. It's very complete. It is very complete. I ended up putting that valve cover back on there. Also threw on a fan and an ignition coil. That was really the only things that were missing. Pull off this carburetor here. Then we'll jump over to this side of the engine, pull the head cover off, the valve cover. Whatever they want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, it is what it is. Get this out of here. Then we can start, oh yeah, individual rockers, rocker arms. Then from here we can start pulling our push rods out. Get all these taken care of. And this is when in real life you'd roll them on the table a little bit, look for a bent one, but that's not that's not modeled into this game, but 
Oh well. Bark plugs removed. I believe we can remove our header here. Exhaust manifold as they call it. Get some stuck ones. Of course, these are always ones that do get very stuck in real life as well. As many of you probably know. Get this head off of here. Oh, yep, yeah, we gotta remove our intake. That's kind of an important thing to get out of the way. I'm working ahead of myself here. Just excited to <laughs> tear this thing down and build it back. And the head has been removed. And yeah, we see a lot of carbon build up here. Okay, on to the other side. And that head been removed. Okay, we can take off our coil that we just put on. <laughs> just bought ignition distributor A. Oh yeah, we gotta get the little clips off first. If there's, uh, yep, there's one right there. Then we get the cap off. The rotor will be underneath there, yep. And the coil can come out, or distributor can come out. There we go. Take the fan off. Not a whole lot to these older pushrod V8s. That's what makes them so fun, in my opinion. Get the water pump pulley off. Go for the water pump, which looks pretty new. Not bad at all. Hopefully we'll be able to repair a good amount of this stuff. Move that fuel filter. Get our harmonic balancer off. There we go. Might as well grab our alternator before we get to the timing set. Power steering pump. Spray that guy. Out of here, now we can take the timing cover off. There we go. And we have our timing set, we get our timing chain. And we'll go ahead and take care of that cam gear and pull the cam out. Right there. Flip this thing over. There we go. Now we can get to the bottom end stuff. Yeah, this is pretty rough down in here. We, do, we have some rod caps missing. And some uh, crankshaft bearing. Caps missing. We got one. Yeah, the other two are missing. Take care of these rod caps or what's left of these rod caps. So the engine's a little bit of a mystery. There's some really nice stuff next to some really worn out stuff. Very interesting. Then we can pull. There we go. Pull the crankshaft. And then we can take the block off of here and get to repairing what we can repair. Replace what we can't. This is where the little mini game comes in. There we go. So I'm just going to sit here and do this for quite a while, guys. And it took quite a while, but we repaired a decent amount of stuff. We're going to obviously need to replace the pistons and rings and things like that, but uh, not too bad as far as the, like some of the big more expensive stuff, like the block was repaired, the transmission was repaired, one of the engine heads, things like that. So, yeah. Camshaft, crankshaft even. And I believe the camshaft. Yep, that was repaired, so not bad, really. Now just to buy the stuff that I wasn't able to repair. Here we go, we got all everything we need for the engine. Figure, let's go ahead and start with the front of the engine. Why not? I did not buy any performance parts because we're building this thing back stock. So that way, maybe if we want to do some like uh, exhibition stock car racing type stuff, it'll all be to the specs, the Winston Cup specs. As required for some of that stuff so we'll just go with that not throw a ton of horsepower on it just just put it back to the stock power and everything like that put our timing chain on here then we can throw our cover timing cover on here and again yes we will do some builds soon and throw just a ton of horsepower at something and see what it is but I don't feel like this is the car for that it's just gonna be roasting tires non-stop if we did which is fun but uncontrollable, and sometimes that, that, you know, sometimes lower horsepower is a lot more fun, especially in some of these setups like this. All right, get that serpentine belt A on there. And the radiator fan, so simple. One thing I love about these old push rod V8s. Let's go ahead and throw our rotor on there, our distributor cap. These little clips that are always Kind of a little pain. There we go. Get that one on there. Looking good. Install our crankshaft bearing caps. That one there. 
and then one more here. I already got the other one installed. Then we'll go ahead while we're here, throw in the pistons. There we go, all brand new. And the rod caps. And our final piston installed. It just struck me that I do need to buy an oil pan. Hit X to put that on the shopping list. Whoever told me about that shortcut, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I never noticed it down on the bottom that, uh, like right there on that, right down there in the center and bottom to the right. Hit X to add to shopping list. How I missed that this whole time, I have no idea, but thank you to whoever pointed that out. Run over here, grab it, buy the part, and install it. There we go. We get the bottom of this engine all taken care of. Bolt these down. And from here on out, it's just pretty simple. All the top stuff. Rotate and rotate. Back at it. Let's build out this side. Some of that glare sometimes just gets in the way. Throw on this engine head. Like that. Like it's just so bright. Gotta get it in the right angles to not be such a deterrent. Okay, you got the head bolted down. Time for push rods and rockers. On to the valve cover. Throw that on now. And we should just be able to go for spark plugs and the header. We'll go ahead and throw the header on first. Exhaust manifold, as they call it. Looks like a header to me. <laughs> All right, and then throw in our spark plugs. One, two, three, and four. I'm excited to get to level 15. We're getting close. Get close to level 15, start doing the auctions. That was one of my favorite things about the previous car mechanic simulator. All right, let's build out the other side. Now we can put on our intake manifold. Bolt that down, there we go. Should be able to go for the carburetor, there it is. It'd be cool if they implemented like uh, tuning the carb jets and stuff like that. Running rich and lean and all that kind of stuff. Maybe one day, an only dream. Okay, that is that done. We can put on our wires. And from there, I believe, I know I'm forgetting something, I'm sure. But to me, that looks like that's it. I don't know, that looks like a complete engine to me. Let's go ahead and pull it off the, uh, the old engine stand by hand. And take it over to the car. I guess I didn't need to move the, uh, didn't need to move the engine crane, did I? And there it goes, right into where it needs to be. Now we can move this away for, for good. No longer need that. Uh, on to suspension stuff. Just really digging on this mod. This is, this is a well done mod with the Hendrick Motorsports logo there. This is the all the old of the era. There's the Winston sticker, Winston Cup era. Logos and sponsors and everything. It's so cool. That was definitely something I watched back, back in the day. Okay, get that lug nut out of here. On to the brakes. Brake caliper, get you out of the way. Brake pad, get this brake disc out of the way. Pull our wheel hub cap, get to that bearing back there. Front wheel hub, got a stuck one there. No big deal, take care of that. Front axle cover, and we can pull our upper suspension arm. Pull our, get it there. For this sway bar and link B. There we go. Pretty simple stuff. Get our outer tie rod. There you go. Yeah, this car's not in too bad a shape. No, not not horrible. Certainly not the worst we've seen, that's for sure. Get that out. That seems to be the way it is with the barn finds. They're always just a little bit better than the junkyard stuff, which makes sense. Pull these bolts out. We got a stuck bolt, stuck fastener there. And we can pull that steering knuckle. That is that side done. Let's move to the back. Get this out of the way. No stuck lugs. Nice. And we can move on to the 
rear caliper here. Rear pads. I like that the battery is back here. That is that is accurate. It's very cool. Very well done. Pull our solid axle here. Get that out. There we go. Get the wheel hub. And we can pull. Oh yeah, good old leaf spring plate. Uh, we got to get the bolt first before we can get the plate. That's right. Get the other U-bolt. Now we can pull the plate. And get this rubber bushing out to be able to get to the control arm, which is removed just like that. Get our absorber here. And our rear shock cap, spring. Spring cap there. And that is that side done. On to the other side. Here we can pull our front sway bar and our steering rack. That is the full suspension ripped out and ready to get rebuilt. That looks so good. It looks like a cup car that's getting uh, getting built. Well, it is pretty much. Time to build out the front suspension. We'll go ahead and install the steering rack here and the front sway bar there. Go ahead and put our steering knuckle there. Let it float in the air just like that as we <laughs> attach our lower suspension arm. All nice new parts, much better than I looked before. Get our double wishbone shock absorber. There you go. Sway bar in link B. Now I went ahead and mounted and balanced the tires, um, but I haven't painted the rims yet because I'm gonna see if there's different liveries. I believe there is, I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, see which one we wanna go with, cause uh, I do like the Rowdy Burns one, but just see what our options are with our brake disc ventilated. Of course, I'm very partial to the cold trickle city Chevrolet livery, which is, uh, oh, it was my favorite in the movie for sure. I just thought it was such a cool, I mean, it was just such an eye popping uh, color when I was a kid watching that movie. It just really stuck out to me. All right, there we go. Inner tie rod and outer tie rod. I thought the Hardy's car was cool. The Superflow car was cool as well. And then we'll go ahead and put the unpainted rim on. Because we might end up, yeah, repainting. Uh, I know it's not black and it's not the uh, gold that Rusty had. Uh, or Rowdy had. Pardon me. I was thinking about Rusty Wallace's Miller Lite car of the era as well. Go ahead and get the fuel pump in there. Get the axle. Shock absorber B. You are solid actual control arm. So yeah, it'll be cool to see which liveries there are available for this car. Decide which one we're gonna do. Leaf spring plate. And get our leaf spring U-bolt there. And one right there. Not a whole lot to these pretty simple rear ends on here. Spring cap. Especially compared to some of the cars that I've been doing recently, especially that like that GTR that I did last time. Such a such a difference between the two of these. Rear knuckle knuckle housing C. Wheel hub. Go ahead and get our axle in there. Be able to tighten that down. Brake disc. Pads. And then our caliper. So yeah, I'll probably be remounting and rebalancing those wheel, wheels and tires, depending on what particular paint scheme we're going for. And get, oh yep, so I'm sorry, I'm not doing the star pattern. Thought I was going to do that from now. <laughs> okay, that is that side done. There we go, here's our star pattern. <laughs> that side of the car is complete. Now one cool thing about this mod too is you got like, track bar and everything like that that is so cool so well thought out let's get our flywheel attached there we go clutch plate and we can throw on our pressure plate get these tightened down just like that and we can do our throw up bearing clutch release bearing whatever they want to call it gearbox right here then we should be ready to put in our starter. There it is. 
And then onto the drive shaft. There was four, and then the other four right there. Now we should be ready to put on our little cover down here. Right there, not cover, our uh, exhaust. Right there. Oh, we can just take the whole body off. Just look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I was not aware you could do that. That is really, really cool. Wow. Now you just got the, uh, yeah, that's that's the cage of the era, the Winston Cup era. So cool. I've built so many plastic model kits with this very same cage. Figure why not fill up the fluids while we're, uh, while it's super easy to get to. Let's go for the coolant first. All good there. Now we can move on to power steering. Get the cap off there, fill you up. Good to go on that. Let's get to our engine oil. We need that. Definitely gonna want that. Good to go there. Don't think we have a wiper reservoir for this particular car. Don't think we would need that. Let's go to the body assembly mode. There it is. Get our body on here, which is all new. But once we level up, I can start repairing body panels again. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. Get that on there. Then just the little windows back here. Rear window. Trunk. All this brand new 100% stuff. Body window there. And then run in on the interior and we can install our steering wheel pop the hood and install our engine cover there that should be everything i believe for our lumina here and indeed it is all 100 percent down here nice now it's time to pick our paint scheme let's move this thing over to this paint shop spray booth whatever you want to call it oh we have the daryl walter of 17 the tide ride Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> I really dig that. What else do we have in here? The Russ Wheeler Hardy's car. I was just talking about how I like that paint scheme. Is this the Tim Richmond folder? Oh, no, that's Ken, Ken Schrader. Yeah, I was thinking that was the Tim Richmond, which that's a cool look, too. I dig that. And, of course, the legend himself, Mr. Dale Earnhardt Sr. I actually did this paint scheme in the previous Car Mechanic Simulator game. I did a video on that, and I kept it. <laughs> kept it, because you got to keep... Uh, you gotta keep the Intimidator's car, right? Uh, and this is from the uh, Sega game. I forget what that's called. But yeah, I know what that is. And there it is. The City Chevrolet Cold Trickle. Number 46. Ah, oh, it looks so good. The Superflow car. <laughs> so good. Uh, it's just bringing back a flood of memories from my childhood. And of course, the Mellow Yellow Cold Trickle. Also, Kyle Petty style paint scheme. It looks so good. The Rowdy Burns that we've started with. Then back to none. Then you can just do ones with a couple little stickers. A little bit different. And then that should be, yep, back to the tide ride. This is a tough call. In the end, I've got to go with the Cold Trigal City Chevrolet 46. This is uh, just too much nostalgia here to not go with this, this particular paint scheme. So good. Paint the car. Got the rims painted black to match what was on Cold Trickle's car. And going to get these mounted. Get this thing down on the ground, and I think it's ready to go to alignment and all that stuff. So let's send it over there. All right, getting our wheels aligned here. I don't think we have to worry about the headlights stuff either. Bounced it off the limiter and got 593. Exactly what we, uh, exactly what the factory power is to stay within spec of the Winston Cup rules. Taking a look of it outside, looks so good. Love that part in the movie when it first reveals from this angle and it's slowly walking up to the car. Yes, that is awesome. It's time to drive it. And here we are, the Daytona International Speedway. This is another mod by Payne. Figure you gotta bring it to Daytona, right? And man, this thing's got some get up and go, that's for sure. And off it goes. Ah! Better pay attention to what I'm doing here. All right, got it under control. Man, this thing is fun. It's so fun to bring it out to Daytona. Very cool. I love the look of it. Ah, I love this paint scheme so much. Let's take it down here and do some donuts. There we go. <laughs> do some burnouts, some donuts. Oh, there it is. A little bit of smoke. 
There we go. J turn. There we go. Get a little bit going. There it is. A little bit of donut there. <laughs> These slicks just grip so good is the thing. All right, let's get back to the garage and see what kind of profit we made on our beautiful Winston Cup era Chevy Lumina. All right, looking at the uh, car details here, everything is 100%. Looking good. And we are ready to flip our car for a profit of $40,000. That's definitely going to help us out and buying some more cars in the future. Let's go ahead and sell the car. Except $40,000. That's pretty good profit if you ask me. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, would you consider leaving me a like? It really helps the channel out. I definitely appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.